Hi Artsy Deco peeps! Today, we're going to know who architect Pablo S. Antonio is. Pablo S. Antonio was a Filipino architect. He was born on January 25, 1901 in Binondo, Manila. He was orphaned by the age of 12, where his father was already 60, and he was born to a 16-year-old mother, Maria Severo who died on her third pregnancy when he was only 3 years old. The only son was 12 years old when his father died at the age of 72. He had to work in the daytime in order to finish his high school education and attended school at night. Pablo spent his free time doing sketches based on his observation on any available materials and became a lifetime hobby. He studied architecture and construction engineering at the Mapua Institute of Technology while working as a draftsman in Bureau of Public Works, but eventually dropped out of school. To pursue his dream on becoming professional, he worked at Santa Clara Construction Corporation where he met Don Ramon Alejandrino Arevalo the engineer in charge of the legislative building project. He funded Antonio's education at the University of London. And Pablo completed a five-year architecture course in three years, graduating in 1927. Antonio pioneered the style of modern and art deco in the Philippine architecture. He was recognized in some quarters as the foremost Filipino modernist architect of his time. The rank and title of National Artist of the Philippines was confirmed on him by President Ferdinand Marcos in 1976. One of his works was the Ideal Theater. Antonio first came into prominence in 1932 with the construction of the Ideal Theater along Avenida Rizal in Manila. The theater, owned by the Rosses family in partnership with Teotico, Basa, Tuason, and Gedota families, has been operating since 1912, with the first theater made out of wood. This type of architectural style was prevalent in the 1930s, wherein cinemas and theaters were designed using the style. One of its interesting features is that it boasted a streamlined design, and it was adorned with a smooth curve and finishes. The theater was demolished in the late 1970s to give way to the construction of a department store present site of Filtrust Bank, Carriedo Branch. Nicanor Rea Sr. was impressed by the design of the Ideal Theater and commissioned Antonio to design the new school complex in the same way. It is the school of Let's Go Tamarau, Let's Go! Far Eastern University or FEU. Five buildings in the Sampalo campus was designed by Ag Pablo Antonio. The Nicanor I. Reyes Hall, the FAU East Asia College of Engineering and Computer Studies, the Law and Nursing Building, the Auditorium and Administration Building, and the Science Building. The school has features of straight lines, squares, triangles, curves, all forms of geometric pattern in their buildings resembling a modern-style building. FAU facade has name on it. The next one is White Cross Orphanage. It is a child caring agency in San Juan, Philippines, that provides temporary shelters for children who are 0 to 6 years old. It gives refuge to children of unwed mothers, indigent families, tuberculosis patients, mentally or physically incapacitated parents, prisoners, or victims of incest or rape. 
the services of architect Pablo Antonio, who was later recognized as National Artist for Architecture, was obtained to design White Cross, which was aimed to be a fresh air shelter for the children of TB patients. The building was an art deco design with its facade shaped like a large white cross. Architectural style Antonio is celebrated for his art deco style and start of modernism, a radical departure from the prevailing style of the time, neoclassicism. His works are defined by its clean lines, strong shapes, and simplicity. Antonio believes that buildings should be planned with austerity in mind and its stability forever, as the aim of true architecture that buildings must be progressive, simple in design, but dignified. Every line must have a meaning, a purpose, where function comes first before elegance or form.